Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to probably discuss about prompt engineering using LangChain. Now, prompt engineering can be super important if you are probably working with LLM models because it will actually help you to design the input to the model that you are having a conversation with. So obviously, uh, in my previous video, we have discussed about LangChain and I also showed you that how we can actually create a simple search application just like a chatbot using LangChain. Now, let's go ahead and let's discuss about prompt engineering. So um, in prompts uh, engineering, we specifically design the prompts itself, right? So uh, if I talk about LangChain, there is a topic which is called as prompts. Uh, over here, you can see the new way of programming model is through prompts. A prompt referred to the input to the model. This input is often constructed from multiple components. So here in LangChain, uh, you will be able to create your own prompts using this prompt template, right? So it is responsible for construction of the inputs. LangChain provides several classes and functions to make constructing and working with prompt easy. So obviously, whenever we use different tools, I can use LangChain. There are also other tools like Chainlet. Over there also the prompt template can be used from the LangChain itself, right? So let's go ahead and let's quickly start the coding over here. And here I'm going to give you a lot of examples with respect to this. So um, as usual, so over here, the first thing that you really need to do over here is that go ahead and use the open AI key. The SERP API key, I will talk about it later on because uh, let's say if you're probably creating a chatbot and you want to also use Google search in that, we can actually use the Google search API. So for that purpose, I had actually used that. But initially we just require this open API key. I have already loaded it over here and executed it, but whatever API key you specifically have, you start with this, okay? As discussed earlier, we are going to specifically use prompt uh, prompt template from the LangChain itself. So now let's go ahead and import from LangChain. Okay. And many people were asking, what are the prerequisite? Prerequisite is nothing, it's just Python. If you know Python, everything will be working in this specific way. You just have to uh, keep on looking on the LangChain documentation with respect to the syntax and the parameters that we are going to use, okay? So from LangChain, we are basically going to import the prompt template, okay? And uh, here, from this prompt template, I'm just going to use template. First of all, we need to design some kind of template. So one example uh, that I am probably uh, going to probably take over here will be something like this. So see over here, I will be designing my own prompt template over here, see. So I'm just saying that I want you to act as a financial advisor for the people in an easy way, explain the basics of whatever topic I really want to give, right? From the search engine itself. Let's say uh, I want to understand with respect to a financial concept, what is income tax? So that income tax word will get replaced over here. So this is a generic template that I specifically need to use it. You can change it anyhow, like whatever way you specifically want, like question answers, different, different ways you can basically do it. I'll show you more examples as we go ahead, right? Now, once this is done, once the template is basically decided, the next thing that you specifically need to do is that use this prompt template and create your entire you take this specific template and insert it over here now in the prompt template the first thing is that you have to define your input variables now what all input variables you are specifically uh, providing over here that is nothing but financial concept right so i will be writing the financial concept over here and make sure that you always write this in quotes so whatever parameters you are giving from your end that parameters only you have to put it away you can if you are providing one parameter just provide one parameter as the input or two parameters provide two parameters as the input then in the next statement that we specifically need to write over here after the input variables right is nothing but your template right now what template i'm basically using for designing my input is the same template right so here i can basically say uh, demo template will be the name correct over here so i will search write demo template and i will copy this over here and paste it over here okay so Oops, just a second. Template is equal to demo template. Now this is done. Now this is how your prompt template is designed, okay? And I will save this in a variable called as prompt, okay? And now what I'm going to basically do is that whenever I give an input, let's say my prompt.format I will be using. And if I give my input over here as financial, just see this, okay? financial concept is equal to now let's say my input is income tax okay now how the llm model is going to take the entire text so if i probably just go ahead and execute it it will take something like this i want you to act as an acting financial advisor for people in an easy way explain the basics of income tax 
okay so this is how the message is basically going to the llm model let's say if i'm using open ai uh, uh, or any llm chains right so in in that specific way it is going to go now let's go and see that how this prompt template that we have probably created we can pass this input to our llm models right so for llm models obviously in my previous session also if you don't know i will put that particular link in the pinned comment of this particular video uh, what we'll do from lang chain we will try to from lang chain dot llms and there are a lot of llms model i've just started with open ai there is hugging face there are different different kind of models even for chat there is different different models we'll discuss about it as we go ahead but uh, prompt engineering is the first basic things that you definitely need to know so i'm going to import open ai okay so open ai over here and then i will say from lang chain dot chains Whenever we use prompt template, it is super important that we have to use chain for executing that particular prompt template. Okay, so I'm going to import LLM chain. Now you may be thinking, Krish, from where do you get all these things? Just watch this documentation, right? If you probably start with prompt templates over here, getting started. Here is some examples that has been given. And if you really want to run this example, you have to probably use this uh, LLM chain, any prompt template that you specifically want to define. Okay, so here it is. So here is my langchain.chains. I'm going to import LLM chain. Now, the next thing is that I will initialize OpenAI. And let's say the temperature variable that I'm actually going to define is 0.6 or 0.7, whatever. By default, is 0.7 over here. And then I'm going to basically say LLM chain. I'll initialize this also. The first parameter is nothing but the LLM model that I want to give. And this is the LLM model. The second parameter is basically my prompt that I specifically want to give so that it can give me the output. And that prompt will be nothing but the same prompt, right? So this is done. I'll create this variable like this and let me just say that this is my chain one. Okay. And like this, I can create multiple chains, which I had already shown you in my first tutorial, right? So once this is executed, uh, over here, I'll be having chain one dot run, right? So when I say run, all I have to give is my input over here, right? And that input will basically replace this particular input over here itself, right? Something like this. So here I will say, okay, fine. Uh, my input is that I want to know about income tax. Now let's go ahead and execute this. Now what it is going to do as soon as we write chain dot run on income tax it is going to take this prompt template inside this prompt template wherever is my variable it is going to replace that particular word over here it will take some time based on the api key that we specifically have and again uh, api key speed uh, like how much cost you're paying for that you can also make a free api key but it will just give you five dollars so this is what is the output that i'm getting income tax is a tax that is paid um, that is paid to the government uh, based on your income, your income, job, investment, all this information is basically available over here. See, so this is what it is basically giving based on this kind of input, right? So this is how my prompt format is. It is taking this entire input and it is saying that, okay, with respect to the income tax, I'm going to get it, okay? Uh, let's say I want to probably understand about what is GDP, right? So it will try to give me the answer okay about gdp over here again it will take around eight to ten seconds and again it depends on the type of api that you have so gdp stands for gross domestic product total this 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 is there so you are able to get your own different kind of outputs right so uh, this was it right and i can probably name this entire chatbot application as a financial advisor like whatever topics you specifically want you can put it okay now let me show you one more example okay and i'll give you entire materials over here now let's say i want to probably build a language translation now for this also my prompt template will be a little bit different okay now see this and here i will show you an example of giving two different inputs right so language translation over here you have so here also i'm using a prompt template the template will be that in an easy way translate the following sentence into target language so here i have to give two parameters first is my input sentence and what target language that i really want to give now since i'm giving two parameters here also i'll use llm chain but the way of providing these two parameters will change okay just see this now this becomes my language prompt my prompt template my input variables will be again in a list sentence and target language and template will be this specific template okay now once i execute this and probably if i just like my language underscore prompt right dot format always whenever you want to see that how the input is basically going to go you can basically write over here so sentence is my first key let's say i'm going to write how are you and i want to convert this into a, a target language okay this will be my target language i hope uh, the spelling is correct okay so second parameter how are you 
and target language is equal to let's say i want to basically give as hindi so i want to convert this sentence how are you into hindi by using this lnm chain so let me just go and see now this is how the input is going to go when i ever i provide my sentence right so in an easy way translate the following sentence how are you into hindi something like this okay now this is what we are going to use over here and again for this uh, we will use the same uh, chain uh, we can probably create a new chain so let's say my chain 2 is llm uh, with this particular prompt okay now since i am providing two parameters over here one is sentence and one is a uh, language you cannot directly call like chain 1 dot run or chain 2 dot run okay so here what i will do i will write chain 2 and whenever you have more than one parameters uh, you have to probably give it in the form of keys right so this will be my first key like the sentence will be my key and in the sense said inside the sentence i can write my text something like this right so it will be like hello hello how are you okay and uh, this is what is my sentence or so let me just remove this question mark and the second parameter is nothing but it is basically my target language okay and the target language will be nothing but hindi and you can change it you can change it to french or whatever things you specifically want okay so this is uh, how you basically run it okay now if i execute it you will be able to see the output okay i'm getting one error saying that financial concept okay financial concept was my okay this chain to okay prompt i have to change it over here see uh, this is the sm smaller mistake that i did because it is still referring to the previous prompt so here is my language prompt and here you have see sentence hello how are you target language is hindi and the output text is namaste aap kaise ho when you get in this form of json right now you can probably pick up whatever text you specifically want and you can give the output over there right at, at least it is in the form of key value pairs so namaste aap kaise ho right and probably you can also convert this into french so french uh, will come something like bonjour comment alice was i hope it is right uh, if you don't want this uh, let's say i want to give it in canada i don't know whether canada is there or not uh, i'm not sure <laughs> let's see i hope so it should be there right hello how are you target language canada canada is from india itself uh, hello nimmanu elli de elli de elli de something like that okay so all those languages can be basically be used over here okay so this is one example now similarly see i did with two parameters you do with three parameters 400 parameters however you want to make a sentence format try to make it okay so guys now let us see one more example of a prompt template and this will be quite amazing so let's consider this okay and i'm going to copy and paste one example in front of you and uh, here you'll be able to see that i'm using one more class which is called as few short prompt template and i'll tell you why i'm specifically using this but let's see this example in this example i have given a format uh, this is the template format and in this template format what i'm doing is that uh, i'll not say this is a template format but i'm giving some examples in this examples i have some key value pairs like word is equal to happy then the opposite of this word will be nothing but antonym right so suppose let's say i'm trying to find out the opposite of this word i'm giving this format uh, some examples like in antonym antonym you'll be finding the word as sad so happy word opposite is sad similarly here also you have a word tall and the opposite of this word tall is nothing but short so this few examples i want to give a hint to the llm model okay and considering this i'm going to create my own prompt template so so here i will be giving the word like this and my antonym will be looking something like this so this is my entire prompt template and uh, before giving this prompt template i also want to provide some examples over here okay to the llm model itself it can be an open ai llm model now this same template i'll be using inside this prompt template and you know that i'm giving two parameters one is word and antonym so word and antonym is here and the template is basically this example formatted template now this is perfectly fine now in order to give this examples first to my llm model we will specifically use this few short template okay and i'm just going to give you the format over here and where did i get this format it is from the documentation itself right so here i'm initializing few short template and i'm giving first of all some of the examples right so these are the examples we want to insert into the prompt the examples is nothing but word happy antonym sad something like that okay and what is the uh, prompt template that we are using this is how the prompt template we are using over here the prompt template is available then the prefix i am giving give the antonym of every input that basically i am saying the llm model to give the opposite of every input okay and the suffix will be in this format 
and the input variable will be input for this okay and the example separator there are some parameters you can find out all the information over here but let me show you after running this okay which is uh, which is uh, super important okay now let's say if i go ahead and prompt print few short prompt so few short prompt is nothing but the same thing okay and here i want to probably write dot format and the input parameter that i'm giving to this is nothing but this input right so let's say if i give this input is equal to and let's say i'm going with the word big so this is how the entire uh, uh the input will be given to the llm models so given the int antonym of every input word is equal to happy with some examples this is my word now i'll be waiting for this specific answer okay now the llm models will be able to understand in a better way okay now directly to run this all i have to do create a chain okay create a chain over here and i am going to give this few short temp, uh, prompt over here so the same few short prompt over here and the chain will just run with input is equal to big okay i can either run like this or i can also say chain dot run see this if i write chain dot run and i'll give my input as big right so i will be getting the output over here you'll be see big as small so if i remove dot run and probably keep the previous format i will be able to give the entire things like what is my input is equal to big text is equal to small so in short i'm first of all this pro few short uh, prompt is basically giving the entire examples to my llm model and then finally i'm able to get the output so these are some of the examples with respect to this uh, uh here i've also explained you few short templates uh, short prompt templates so that you can also give an example so quick summary about the prompt engineering guys again a very good thing probably you want to create your own chatbot models on an nlm models at that time you want to give your own input format you can definitely do it with the prompt template itself and i've heard like <laughs> many places now prompt engineering job is also in fire so that basically means there are a lot of openings where people get highly paid but at the end of the day my work is to basically teach you regarding that and i have done that okay so yes this was it for my side i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you take care bye bye